I am Go Heng and I am now enrolled in this Beckett University program Business and Management from the School of Business in Stanford College, Malacca. And today, I will talk about what is marketing, a few concepts of marketing, my interpretation of marketing needs, my experience and what I have learned and I will do a conclusion about all the topics today. So stay tuned and start the countdown. Basically, marketing is an activity where the marketers in the organization will promote their products and services to the customer. Well, according to Philip Kotler, marketing is a process of creating value for the customers to fulfill their needs and wants and also for the organization to gain profit. In marketing, there is a concept called micro-environment where there are few elements in this concept that will affect the organization internally. For example, supplier is one of the elements in micro-environment where they are the ones who will help the organization to supply their products in places where customers can purchase it. Other than that, marketing intermediaries is also one of the important elements in micro-environment where they are the middle person such as the wholesaler and retailer that will help the organization to provide information and also sell the products and services to the customer. Mention about customer, there are two types of customer in the market and the first type is called consumer market where they are the one who will purchase the product and services for their own consumption or benefit whereas the second type is called business to business market where they are the customer who will purchase the product and services to satisfy their organization objective other than that marketers are now producing product based on market orientation where they will understand what do their customer needs and want so that they can produce product that can satisfy everybody. Furthermore, marketers need to study on how do their customer make decision in purchasing a particular product or services based on the customer behavior. And marketers also need to understand that psychological factor is taking place where each customer will react differently on the marketing message that has been given with different attitudes. Next, there are a few challenges that the organization are facing and one of them is where the organization may face difficulty to control their employees and make them into efficient workers because each employee has their own characteristics and ways to do things. For example, Marketer A and Marketer B that are working in the same company may have different ways and style to do their promotional activities. Furthermore, organizations or company that are based on franchise may have problem to control the quality of their product and services because each franchise may have different kind of employee or marketers that produce different quality of product and services. There are also challenges where the product and services that the organization are producing can't satisfy all their customer because each customer may have different preferences and tastes. Other than that, organization also may face challenges in identifying the needs and wants of the customer and they also may face problems where the customers can't understand the marketing message that the organization is trying to tell based on their product and services. Based on my view, marketing miss is a strategy where the organization will use words to describe or give an overview about their products or services. Besides that, marketing miss is also a way where the marketers use to attract the customers but the main reason is for the organization to gain profit and to achieve their goals. This marketing mix can either give advantages or disadvantages to the organization where a particular mix can basically help the organization to increase their sales, make good publicity about the organization's product and services and bring in more potential buyers and make them into actual buyers. Whereas marketing mix also can give disadvantages to the organization where a particular miss can destroy the organization or product image that can make the customer to misunderstand and will cause the organization to lose their customer. Well, one of the marketing myths that I know is nobody does chicken like KFC. And based on this slogan, 
you can know that this marketing mix is belong to KFC. Based on what I feel, this marketing mix is trying to tell the customer that there are no other company out there that can produce the recipe or taste like what KFC are producing. Other than that, KFC returned to use finger licking good as their marketing mix in 2015 where this will tell the customer that KFC are producing delicious products that are based on chicken and with all this marketing mix, it can make the customer to think about KFC or the taste that they had whenever they remember about this slogan. For example, if I do to ask my friend, hey, do we want to have some fried chicken? In a short second, we will think about one place and that is KFC. The next marketing meets is Have a break, have a Kit Kat. So this is one of the marketing meets that Nestle are using for their product Kit Kat. In my opinion, have a break, have a Kit Kat is a way where this company use to inform their customer that they can always consume their product Kit Kat whenever they feel tired or having problems and need a break. Besides that, marketing meets such as this that are very catchy can make the customer easily understand or identify any information based on a particular product in the organization. And although this tagline is being used since 1957, have a break, have a kick at, is still in every customer and people's mind. Furthermore, there are also marketing myths that emphasize on the ingredient that the company used to produce their product. For example, better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. This marketing myth tell the customers that by using better ingredients, a better pizza can be made because when a company is using the best ingredient for their food, it will surely affect the taste and the look of their product. Other than that, by emphasizing on using better ingredients will make the customers to believe that the company are producing fresh product so this will attract more customers and it can also become one of the strategy that the company can use. Besides that, marketing means such as this will make the customer feel eager to try how good is their product or whether they are using better ingredients than the other company and the differentiation in the taste of their product than others. Furthermore, based on what that I have observed and experienced, one of the ways to become a good marketer is to know about the color market and also to understand the features or characteristics of the product and services so that the marketers can answer any question or doubt from the customers. For example, the marketers must identify the current trend of their customers so that they can produce the product and services that are suitable in the market. Marketers also need to be good in communication so that the customers can understand the information being transferred to them and by the way a marketer speaks, it will show whether the customers will become the actual buyers or just a potential buyers. For example, if the marketers can't explain properly to their customers, customers will feel bored or dissatisfied and they will try to make the marketers get away from them. In conclusion, marketing is an element where every organization will need this department so that the product and services can be supplied to the customers. Other than that, marketing is a way where the marketers or organization can know better about their customers and it is also a way where a great relationship can be born between them. Furthermore, based on my opinion, marketers is someone who is very passionate because they need to find out what do their customers want, seek or entertain their customers and also do a lot of promotional activities. Besides that, marketing meets can help an organization to acknowledge the customers about their products or services and it is also a way where they can use the meets as a medium of promotion so that the organization can gain more sales. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.